This is Jack Spierko with the Ice Marketing Group, and today I'm going to do a real quick video. This is going to be as, uh, as simple and quick of a video that we've ever done. I'm not really going to go into much detail on this one uh, because we have plenty of videos that teach you how to uh, manage, set up, configure your WordPress blog. Uh, what we do have uh, in the members area right now is a video that shows you the what I call the long way to set up a WordPress blog, where you actually go download WordPress from the WordPress site and you upload it with FPP to your, your server and then you go configure it and set up a database. Um, if you don't have cPanel and Fantastico or another system that will let you automate this process, that'll be the way you have to do it. But I know a lot of people are using uh, a cPanel host. If you're not, I recommend if you're going to do a lot of blogs, especially if you can do one blog, it's not big a, that big a deal. But if you do a lot of blogs, uh, specifically marketing blogs and maybe build a network of blogs, you're going to see real quick here why this is the way I choose to do things. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a domain that I have uh, just configured some hosting for. Uh, and I'm going to log into cPanel. And as you can see, to get to your cPanel, uh, as long as you have a cPanel host, will be the domain slash and then cPanel, C-P-A-N-E-L. Uh, I'm using RoboForm. That's a tool we recommend as well. Okay, now I'm logged into my cPanel, and what I'm going to look for once I'm in cPanel is a little thing called Fantastico Deluxe. I'm going to click on that. And what this is is a system that automates setting up a lot of things. There's blogs in here, there's content management systems, uh, discussion forums. You can set up a PHP or a, uh, a simple machines forum. There's e-commerce options. But what I want to talk to you today about is blogs, and you'll see there's several blogs. The one we recommend is WordPress. I'll just click on WordPress. Okay, you'll see that there are no current installations. It's going to tell me how much space I'm requ I required to have, how much space this account is allocated. That means I could have a, a new uh, account if I want one. So all I'm going to do is now say and click on new installation. And then it's going to ask me what directory I want this in. Now, I want this in the top level directory, so I'm going to leave this blank. But if I wanted it to be uh, games to share slash blog, uh, I would put blog here. If I wanted it to be my blog, I'd put my blog here. If I had set up subdomains, let's say I wanted to set up blog.gamestoshare.com, there's a place in the C panel where you just click on uh, subdomain setup. I could set that up, and then I would be able to install it in that directory. So I can have a lot of uh, variation here, but I just want to do a top level. Admin access data. I'm going to give the uh, the administrator a, a pretty simple name, admin. Uh, password. I'm going to make a fake password, so don't bother trying to use it later, because I'm going to change it before you ever see this video. And I'm going to do that with uh, seven 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 five times. And I would just hide that, but it'd be more work than it's worth, so I'm just going to change it. Admin nickname. Uh, I'm going to call the the guy that posts here gamer. Uh, and I can give it a description if I want to. Uh, let's see, site. Gamer information. Game, uh, how about video game news? All right. Give it a description. Connecting you, you with the latest in the gaming world. And you can change this later, so it's not really that important. Uh, email account. This is for if you're going to be posting by email. I'm not going to do that. I don't like to post by email. I think that things tend to get a little bit uh, distorted. Your, your formatting doesn't seem to come through when you post via email. So I don't do that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put in um, just anything in these fields. Because if I don't put something here, it won't let it work. I'm going to click install World WordPress. Okay, now it's asking me if I did everything right and, and do I want to click finish installation. And it says that that's uh, all been taken care of now. It tells me my username and my password. And if you've ever done a WordPress blog before, you're going to realize how much easier this really is here in just a second. Okay, there it is. That blog set up. That's the default theme. I don't really like that. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And uh, I'll be changing my password now so that uh, you guys can't hack my blog. Again, you notice I'm using RoboForm. And when you do as much uh, site management as I do, it really is helpful. So uh, this is uh, real quick. Just I'm going to go into user, 
click edit. This is where I'll be changing my password. But that's really all this video is designed to do, is just show you how quickly you could have a uh, WordPress press blog up and running. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're not using a, post that use, a host that uses cPanel, I recommend you do. Uh, the host we actually use for a lot of our blog hosting is called hostingwithus.com. Uh, we don't sell for them or have an affiliate agreement or anything like that. Uh, we do recommend them highly. Uh, Eric Worsham is the owner. I know him personally. He's done an awful lot uh, to help me out over the years. So, uh, again, uh, if you're not using a cPanel host uh, with Fantastico, I really recommend you consider it if you're going to be doing a lot of blog work. Uh, there's a lot of other things you can do, like forms and whatnot, uh, but you can see just from the ease of installation with a, uh, a WordPress blog, it's pretty impressive.